Hi everyone, it's Angela from Shin Screens, and today we're at the community garden. There she is. And I'm gonna show you what's growing well, what's maybe not growing so well, and my plans for the next coming weeks. Okay, here's my community garden. It's been a while since I did a proper garden tour because I had a lot of trouble with my seedlings my seedlings just kept getting eaten as soon as they start sprouting but for right now this is what we got i still think it's beautiful the way it is so let's see we've got growing here so up here we've got sunflowers just look at how fast they are growing i think i planted these in february and right now it's april but just look at them this is the mammoth sunflower and judging by the name i think they are supposed to grow really tall so we'll see i've got some more another sunflower here these are my potatoes grown in a container. Oh my God, just look at that. Um, these have just grown so fast. I'm really happy with how they're looking. Over here, we've got cantaloupe. This is Hale's Best Cantaloupe, a very common variety for people to grow. Now over here, I have some sugar snap peas looking real good. Um, now they are also in a container right here. The reason I put these two containers, well, everything on this little corner here is all in containers because my neighbor has two big avocado trees here that I'm sure the roots have long left the pot and the roots have been creeping into my bed and sucking up my nutrients. So the, everything that I plant in this corner, it was always stunted no matter how much fertilizer I gave it. So I decided to put them in containers so I can keep the nutrients concentrated in these pots and they won't all get sucked up by these trees over here. So I'm gonna try to see if this method works. So I've got my sugar snap peas here. I've got some romaine lettuces and more romaine lettuces. And these right here are cucumbers. This is, I think, called the muncher cucumber and this one is called the straight eight. Um, so far looking pretty good. And these will also climb up the trellis here. So this right here is a butternut squash. And here I've got some snow peas. I can pick some of these soon, probably in about a week or so. And I was hoping for these to climb up real tall, you know, and up over the trellis, but this corner of my plot gets shaded out by these massive bushy tomatoes at my neighbor's plot. So they don't get a lot of sunlight. So this may be as tall as they get, but that's okay. Okay, over here I've got sugar baby watermelons. I've got two of them here and also a watermelon over there. And I'm really excited. This is my first time growing watermelons. And here I've got some pole beans they are looking really good. I mean, just look at how well they're climbing up. I mean, they grow just so fast. This right here is a Japanese cucumber that I got from one of my garden neighbors. And all along the garden, I, I scattered some flowers. These are bachelor button flowers. Here I've got some onions. I've got a red cabbage there right there and another one right there, but my cabbages are not doing well. In fact, I had to pull a lot of them out because they just got ravaged by aphids. Here I had a giant Swiss chard that I chopped down because it was shading all of my other plants. And you know, I have lots of Swiss chard over here too. Oh my God, just look at these massive Swiss chard. And this is more Swiss chard than I could ever eat. I can't eat that many. So what I'm learning is that for the next season, I'm only gonna plant, you know, one or two Swiss chard because it's too many for me to eat. Okay, I've got some more zucchini and more bachelor buttons and more bachelor buttons here. I'm really excited to see how the flower's gonna look. They are a really beautiful blue color, so. And here I've got still some carrots, oh my gosh. Um, still lots of carrots. I'm gonna keep them in ground and just kind of pull them up as I need them. Here I've got some asparagus. My asparagus are coming up, so I only get, you know, a couple at a time. So it's not enough to make a full meal, but these are really delicious. So I'm still thankful to have these. And I actually started some asparagus seeds. And this is my Moringa that is coming back out of dormancy. So I'm really happy to see that. Okay, this is a volunteer raspberry bush that, look how good that looks. And this right here is my beautiful almond tree. I've got a few of these. I have some more at home, but they are so hardy. I mean, they have lasted through tough winters and real hot, dry summers. And no matter what, they, they just, you know, keep going. My papaya, unfortunately, did not do well. It just did not survive the really cold winter we had here. 
I sprouted these pretty late in the season last year, so they didn't quite get big enough to withstand the cold winter. And this is a gooseberry that I got as a volunteer you know, from my neighbor's plot. Down here I have it, a tiny little, um, what is this, a grapefruit tree that I sprouted from seed, but it's been super stunted, never really growing bigger than this. So, but you know what, the leaves look healthy, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe I'll just keep it here and see what happens. Here's another bush bean that just came up and luckily it survived. And I've got these um, zucchinis. Don't know if these are yellow or green ones, we'll see. Um, these had a real tough, slow start because I planted them in, directly in the ground and the weather turned cold for two months. And so they were really struggling and it looked like they were um, getting eaten by some pests. I wasn't sure if these were gonna survive, but so far they're doing okay. They don't look great, but I think they're doing okay enough. I'm just gonna leave them and see what happens. And then now all this empty space is gonna be filled with green beans and I do wanna put an eggplant right here. I did start lots of seeds this past week, so hopefully we'll have a bounty in the next coming months. And today we are gonna have a seed planting mania. Okay, so I've got here these trays. I've got, you know, 15 little cups in each tray. I've got three trays, so we've got 45 seeds to plant, you know, at the community garden. I've only had that spot for about six months, so I'm still getting to know it. And, uh, you know, I thought I could just plant a lot of seeds directly in the ground. Um, that'll, that's just the easiest way to plant. You know, it saves me the hassle of, of transplanting um, seedlings. So, so I planted lots of seeds for the spring. Um, and you know what? They get eaten right away. I have so many roly polies that um, as soon as this seed is sprouting, doesn't matter what seedling it is, they eat all of them. So uh, I decided to uh, start, start seeds in, little, in these little cups and then let them get a little bit bigger and then transplant them in so that they have at least a chance of surviving. This is way too many seeds for me. I am gonna um, give away some of these seeds. I'm just starting way more than I can plant in general because not all the seeds will sprout and even the ones, some of the ones I transplant may not survive. So it's always good to have some extras. Let's get started. One of my favorite things about gardening is volunteer plants. So volunteers are plants that just come up on their own. I did not plant any of this. So right here we've got a tomato. And all of these guys right here, these are papayas. So I have lots of papayas all over here. Too many to count. This one right here is a pomegranate. This one right here is probably a cantaloupe. This one's a raspberry. I've got a few raspberries. I got three of them here. 
And this right here looks like an apple tree, most likely. But isn't that cool? I mean, I've got so many different kinds of fruits growing right here in this pot. And you know what? I did zero work to get these to grow. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time.